Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Rising Tide Oceanarium. Um, for those of you guys who watched the first episode, which I'm going to assume is probably all or at least most of you, uh, we built sort of the entrance, which was really more of like a garden walkthrough sort of thing. Um, and in this episode we're building the um, like gift shop, visitor center uh, kind of thing. Uh, which I guess sort of sort also serves as an entrance as well. Um, this one actually, I did a lot of experimenting with this. Um, didn't have like a really solid plan. I just sort of went through uh, and tried a few different things. Um, some of it stayed, some of it uh, I got rid of, which you really won't see because I cut out a lot of that stuff. But um, for the most part, uh, a lot of what I built initially actually... Um, remains in the final build and I think there's still a few things I might change um, in the final product if you will but um, I'm gonna wait and sort of see how the rest of the zoo shapes up before I do that the rest of the park anyways um, a few changes I might make um, where you'll see on the other side the side I have the, the stairs well I guess actually like here, I'll show you. Once I get to it, I'll kind of talk about it. But for right here, I'm just, uh, I tried to put this um, photo thing there, but I end up using that somewhere else later. So basically, where these are here, where I have these gift shops or gift carts, and I put the, the counters there, I'm thinking about putting something right to the right there, taking out the wall and putting a separate exit to the building. Because I noticed, because I've recorded the last, or the, the two episodes after this as well. And what I was noticing is the guests weren't really um, finding their way out of the building that easily um, because their pathing, I guess, isn't very good. You know, everyone knows how bad. Anyone who plays Zoo Tycoon 2 knows that the AI uh, for both the animals and the guests is pretty poor. But so I thought about maybe doing that, um, taking that wall out and sort of putting in another exit uh, because I have the space and the ability to do that. I haven't built anything past there, or on the other, the other side of there really, so it's an option that I think I might go ahead and, and take. And uh, here I'm sort of building this center, center piece uh, to, the, uh, to the building where I put the otter statue with the rock. That, I, I cut out most of it because I did a lot of experimenting to try and find a cool center piece. It was hard to find something that fit that little um, section that I had in the middle there and didn't, um, uh, wasn't too large or wasn't too small or whatever, so uh, it took me a while to really find some that worked, because I experimented with different plants, different rocks and stuff that sort of fit in the middle of that um, area where I used the, uh, the tables and, and the, uh, the cabinets to sort of make a fake little platform there. Uh, it took me a while to find some, but I ultimately am pretty pleased with what I got there. Um, now I'm just decorating, putting shirts, ra you know, racks with shirts and uh, toys and benches and potted plants and all that stuff around. Uh, and then here I used the photo booth thing with the, the shark. Um, and then I think I put, yeah, I put a vending machine. Not, it doesn't go there, it ends up going in the other, other room there. But it's just a lot of little uh, decorations and stuff to make it look. Um, decorated and, and alive and everything. Um, I also used this for the entrance, those glass panes, because I think they look pretty cool. I um, also just put some stuff so that the guests will actually be purchasing items and you'll see them going around the zoo uh, with those items and stuff. Uh, makes it look more authentic, I think. Um, just put the frames on the windows there. But there's not a ton in there. Um, it's I wanted to keep it sort of simple. I don't want it to be too crowded. So I probably will put a separate um, gift shop somewhere if there's room. And then I also need to put restrooms because I realized I didn't put those in there because there wasn't room. That's probably something I'll do. What I'll probably do is I'll probably do multiple small restroom buildings um, around the zoo or around the park. I think that's probably pretty realistic what you'd see. There wouldn't just be one restroom that wouldn't be uh, <laughs> very effective for the amount of guests that you'd probably get in there. So, and um, yeah, this building's almost done. The whole build's almost done. I think I'm getting close to the end of the uh, 
end of the episode here. Still a little bit of time left, but I can sort of talk about what the future plans are for the zoo or park. It's really more of a, a park. I don't know why I keep calling it a zoo, but whatever. Um, what we're going to do in the next next couple episodes, we'll do the first few animals that you see uh, when you come in, which are um, not like the super popular ones um, because I want to sort of save those for later. But after that, I want to start pretty soon I'll be building the first aquarium. I think I'll have like two or three aquariums um, in the zoo, probably one for tropical fish, uh, one for maybe like sharks, like a purely shark uh, aquarium, and then maybe one for um, like a mixture of like turtles and uh, stingrays and things like that, but we'll see. And here we're just, you know, doing the final walkthrough so you can see what's uh, what we built and everything. Um, yeah, what else do I wanted to say in this? Um, not a ton. Um, you guys are also obviously free to leave suggestions as far as what animals or that I use and, and maybe some ideas for actually what the exhibits could look like. Um, you guys are usually pretty good at that because um, I'm not always able to think of a ton of really unique ideas, so it's it's nice to, to have you guys' input. Um, with the music rock in the center though. I'm not sure if I, you guys saw that. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. So hopefully you're enjoying the way the series is going so far. Um, I'm trying to make sure I put commentary in here because I, I know some people like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one.